Mm, my people, the final secret of Bola Ahmed Tinubu is finally out. The secret of Tinubu is out as the people that are training Tinubu have finally discovered the only thing that can make Tinubu not to be inaugurated on May 29. APC is in total panic right now. Obedient, I would like you to stay connected to the end of this video. Tinubu have gone silent the moment they discovered this about him. The moment they discovered this particular thing about him, Tinubu couldn't come out to speak because this alone can make the court to discover if I bother, I meant Tinubu. The people that discovered this really went extra mind. They really make much inquiry about Bola I meant Tinubu because this is really hidden. Obedient, I would like you guys to stay connected to the end of this video. If you can share this video, ensure you share it to different platforms. Let it go viral. And if you can't share it, ensure you like it. Give it a thumb up so that YouTube will recommend it for us. Obedient, stay connected. I'm coming back again. Welcome you back to Lajibong Wash TV. I don't have bad news for you today. What is happening in the Christian world? Join now to make sense with Lajibo. Hello my great and wonderful viewers. Welcome back to Lipo Watch TV. For those of you that are new to this channel, ensure you click the resolution button on your video screen. And don't forget, click the notification bell icon so that you won't miss out whenever we drop a new update in few hours time because we release updates about what is happening in the Christendom and even the political zone back to back on this channel. That's our work on this channel. And people that are subscribed to this channel before, a big thanks to you all and I believe you guys are really enjoying the back to back update that we are releasing on this channel. Now the update I have for you today is still on the political zone. A lot of really happened in the course of this week. Hmm. As we are even going to the weekend, Kassala just a boss they go, you understand? The secret of Bola Tinubu have finally been discovered. Hmm. A lot of people have been saying that Tinubu cannot be inaugurated on May 29. Why some have been saying that Tinubu will be inaugurated? But this very video will determine the fate of maybe people are met Tinubu is going to be inaugurated or not, unless if the tribunal is not manipulated. A lot of petitions and allegations have been raised against the presidential candidate of the APC, which Bola meant Tinubu. A lot of petitions have been raised, but this particular one is above all. This alone can make Bola meant Tinubu because, according to the report, they said he swore under oath, and this alone is perjury. And and it can land him in 14 years imprisonment and according to the constitution anyone that violated this particular thing anyone that violated this can never be inaugurated can never be sworn in fact the person will go to prison that's what the constitution of nigeria says but tinubu bola i tinubu have done this he have violated it and this video is discovered it have been brought out so hunde i have finally come out to speak about the whole thing i would like you guys to stay connected to the end of this video what did Tinubu do that is packing up a lot of reactions that makes APC to go on sign it, total sign it. They invited the former governor of Lagos, Raji Fashola, to come and speak about the whole thing, to come and defend Bola Ahmed Tinubu. As intelligent as Fashola is, he couldn't defend Bola Tinubu. He was saying another thing on the television station. But then something has happened and something is shaking Bola Ahmed Tinubu right now. Stay connected to the end of this video. We can share it. Ensure you click the share button. Let it go viral. And if you can share it, just do us a favor by liking it so that youtube recommended for us we'll be there stay connected as we watch the video i'm coming back again <laughs> and even a brand product launch first it was the alleged leaked audio uh, conversation of the labor party presidential candidate peter obi and david oedipo the founder of winners chapel and now there's new and more of course um interesting drama an alleged expose on the apc presidential candidate bola ahmed tinubu having dual citizenship uh, of Guinea and Nigeria. What makes this worthy of conversation this morning is the same reason that has made every Nigerian speak about this recent expose. One, is it constitutional for the number one citizen to be of a pre or a presidential candidate or a president-elect rather to have dual citizenship? What also makes this conversational is that this alleged expose has been brought forth by the same person, an independent journalist. What this document proves beyond any conclusive um, uh, shred of, of doubt, of, of reasonable doubt, is that the president-elect has in fact committed the crime of perjury, perjury which is lying under oath. Now, on his INEC EC9 declaration, which is essentially sworn David stating one's intention to run for president, um, there are several there, there are several questions that are asked on the affidavit. One of them is, um, uh, have you ever obtained uh, citizenship of another country? And on the INEC EC9 form, he ticked no. 
Now, um, this document proves that he has, in fact, obtained citizenship of at least one other country that we know of, which happens to be Guinea. Now, one can have um, several theories as to why, in the first place, um, what he was doing with the, with the Guinean diplomatic passports in the first place. But that's not the issue. The issue is simply that he did not declare this on his EC9 declaration. He told a lie on his sworn declaration, which is the crime, which constitutes the crime of perjury. Um, on the same EC9 form, there, there are at least on on at least three other instances on the form. There, there are other things which can arguably be constituted as perjury. But this is by far the most um, obvious. One, which is why I think it has elicited the kind of reaction that it has. Um, but if, 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 if there's something close to a, well, I won't call it a regret, but um, the, the ongoing uh, presidential uh, 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 election petitions, which have been lodged by the two main opposition candidates, Abu Bakar Tiku and uh, Peter Obi, um, for whatever reason, um, haven't um, made direct mention of this issue, um, one one would hope that maybe they might they, they, they might be able to add this issue involved because the point is, if one is going to become president of Nigeria, then the process by which one becomes president of the country must be valid. Now, if the um, INEC EC9 declaration with which one declared one's intention to run for president um, has fraudulent information on it, has false information on it, on this on, on sworn statement, then what that simply means is that the person who has filled in that false information under oath is not just unqualified to run for president. Under Nigerian law, perjury is a very serious offense that attracts 14 years in prison. So these are issues that the Nigerian court system must answer. Well, um, David, what, what do you expect, you know, would be the response? You know, I know you would definitely not speak for them, but um, I've, I've seen interviews where, for example, the former governor of Lagos State, you know, was asked you know, a similar question concerning the Guinean citizenship, you know, and he seemingly answered the answered a different question. Um, and there's also been some some type of um, distraction between what exactly your points are, which are perjury. Um, you know, some people have tried to make it a, you know, he could be disqualified from running f from, you know, being president elect or some of all of that because he has double, cit double citizenship or dual citizenship, you know, which of course constitution clearly states that you cannot have if you're going to be president, some of all of that. So what do you expect will be the response or the outcome of some of all of this, you know, and I'm saying that also because we've seen in the build up to the elections before people even went out to vote, I mean, you had put out, you know, all the... Um, um, report investigative um, um, work that didn't seem to deter a lot of Nigerians from whatever decision they were going to make, you know, towards the election. So, how do you think this will turn out? You know, the reaction first of all from the APC and from you know his, the president president elect's camp, and generally what this would end as. So, first of all, I don't expect that there will be a reaction or a direct reaction from the APC. Judging from what the reaction was, in fact, which was to report my my, my Twitter accounts, um, it, it seems to me that what, what the APC is going to do is just stick their fingers in their ears and hope that people stop talking about it and hope that it goes away. Um, bear in mind that this isn't the first time that I specifically have raised the issue of perjury. I published a story about it in, in November, which was focused on this particular instance of perjury. But as I said, there were several other instances of perjury on the INEC EC9 declaration. I, I put forward evidence in that article, for example, that the Chicago State University certificate, which is submitted with its INEC EC9 declaration, was in fact a forgery. And on the INEC EC9 declaration, one of the questions asked is, have you submitted a forged certificate to INEC? It is no. I presented very compelling evidence that what he submitted to INEC was blatantly a forgery. So um, after I, I put the story out in November, there was a very, very, very loud and pointed silence from the camp of the APC because there was simply no defense. And I don't expect this time to be any different. I don't expect them to come out and actually attempt to address this uh directly because again there is simply no defense it is very cut and dried <laughs>
Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. I believe you really enjoyed this video that I just finished watching. That is Hundei speaking regarding. Hundei is a journalist, so he was speaking regarding what had been transpiring between Bola and Mentinubu and even Atiku Abubakar and even Peter Abe himself. You know, the guy said it all. He said Tinubu violated a lot of offenses, he violated a lot of laws as far as Nigeria constitution is concerned. And anyone that violated such law can never be inaugurated as the president of Nigeria talk less of being a president elect too he said Tinubu is not fit to be a president elect as far as Nigeria constitution is concerned so now what one day brought out according to the video that I just finished watching is the fact that Tinubu violated perjury and for those of you that don't know what perjury is perjury is when you sworn under oath and you lie so that's the point because you know before they turn before they will aspire to be the president of nigeria they will swear under oath and according to what Hunde said because it was being asked by the journalists that were interviewing him so he may mention the fact that the oath that tinubu swore tinubu told lies in the oath and as far as nigeria constitution is concerned anyone that told lies under oath is attached for 14 years Years imprisonment so 14 years imprisonment is attached to perjury now Tinubu have violated the same thing what did Tinubu violate in particular Tinubu have a dual citizenship for those of you that don't know what a dual citizenship is is the fact that Tinubu have two citizenship and according to the constitution of Nigeria if you want to become the number one citizen which is the president of Nigeria you must not have dual citizenship you must not have citizenship in other countries but Tinubu have two different citizenship he have one in Guinea and he have one in Nigeria which is the permanent citizenship so he have another citizenship in Guinea so that alone is to disqualify him and how is that going to disqualify Bola Metinubu that can disqualify Bola Metinubu because when he was making his declaration to the general public and to INEC when he was swearing on that oath the question was there maybe he have a dual citizenship or not so he told lie according to what Houdin said he said Tinubu told lie when he was questioned regarding that when he was aspiring to run for presidency so according to Houdin now Tinubu have told lie and this alone can stop him from being inaugurated on the 29th of May which is the following month that is ahead of us now obedient what do you guys think and according to what Houdin said he said the certificate that Tinubu brought out for INEC the Chicago certificate that Tinubu brought out for now is a forgery certificate that Tinubu forged the certificate that he brought out to INEC so he said they should go and may find this regarding the certificate that Tinubu brought from Chicago you know there were questions regarding the school that Tinubu went to the primary school the secondary school the all of that but but this question could it be answered we did not know the primary school we went to we don't know the secondary school but all we just see is the certificate of the highest institution where on earth did that come from obedient i would like us to drop our opinion at the comment section of this video tinubu have violated a lot of things even when we saw the petitions that peter will be brought out in the tribune and this what i meant tinubu kasin shashima and apc themselves we thought that is all but a lot of things keep coming out regarding what i meant tinubu look at this particular one tinubu and apc all of them are gone silent regarding this even they invited Raji Fashola, the former governor of Lagos State that was put in place by Bola Ahmed Tinubu back then so Raji Fashola is now a minister as far as Nigeria is concerned now, but they asked Raji Fashola questions on television station regarding the perjury that Tinubu committed the dual citizenship that he obtained from Guinea and even Nigeria so the dual citizenship stuff Raji Fashola couldn't make an accurate answer the question they asked him is different from the answer he was given as intelligent that man is you couldn't even defend Bola Ahmed Tinubu in that very point because this caught them unaware it caught APC unaware and APC have not made any content regarding this they have not come to me that regarding this a lot of strategy is ongoing on the net so they have not said anything regarding it because they caught them unaware but then what do you guys think do you really think this a look at table at Tinubu down and it can be stopped from being inaugurated on the 29th of May the president of Nigeria or do you think Bola Tinubu will be inaugurated as president of Nigeria I would like guys to drop a in the comment section on this video as i'm going to click that that's another for you ensure follow me on my social media handles on facebook at lipo watch tv and a lipo entertainment and on instagram at lipo guess what guys see my next video bye enjoy your day <laughs>